Hey, it's John from Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best way to approach the Kaplan Nursing Entrance Exam. The Kaplan Nursing Admissions Test, the KNAT, whatever you call it, we're gonna help you really identify a simple outline of where to start studying um, and how to study. And we're also gonna talk about how to identify good resources. And by the end of this, you should be well on your way to doing really well on the test and being fully prepared for the test. Now I want you to check out the description below. There's a bunch of good resources in there. Uh, you'll see a link to a free practice test for the Kaplan exam. You will see a uh, link to our Facebook study group, which is filled with thousands of people just like yourself who are preparing for the Kaplan uh, nursing exam. And they're sharing resources that are working for them. They're sharing tips and tricks and asking questions when they're stuck and putting practice problems. And it's just a really great community of supportive people who are all trying to accomplish the same goal. So I want you to be a part of that community. So check out that link below. And if you're on Facebook, please join the group and we'll see you there. So the first thing you need to do when you're approaching this test is you really need to understand what are your strengths and weaknesses. You need to take an inventory of that. And the best way to do that is to start with a good practice test. Now I mentioned we have a free practice test in the link below, but you already might have a book or an online course that comes with practice tests so you can use those. And I can't speak to all the practice tests, but I can say the Smart Edition Academy practice tests really do a good job of giving you a scored report at the end of it, where it breaks down every question that you got right and wrong by the individual topic within the subject. So it's not enough to say, my weak area is math or my weak area is writing. You need to say specifically within uh, math, my weakness is multiplying fraction by a fraction or you know algebra topics or whatever it is. But you need to know that on a pretty granular level what those topics are so that you can focus on those topics. Now, I don't want you to rely entirely on practice tests. It's a really good way to get an idea of what your weaknesses are, but you should use your own self-assessment and, and be honest with yourself. How are you feeling about these particular topics? Now, you can do things like rate yourself on a scale of one to five or one to 10, how well you know that material or how comfortable you are with it. Or you could write them down and use a color coding system like red, I don't really know it well, green, I feel like I've mastered it, yellow, I'm okay, but I still need to spend a little more time studying. And these are all things that are gonna help you create your study schedule and know where you wanna go once you have some good resources and, and what you wanna spend your time uh, studying. Now, after you've taken those practice tests or self-assessed yourself on what your weaknesses are, you wanna find some good study materials. And we made a whole video of the top 10 resources for the Kaplan exam, and that's in the description below, so check that out. That'll just kind of give you a starting point uh, and some reference on what are some good materials that you might wanna check out. And it's everything from study guides, online courses, YouTube channels, websites, uh, all sorts of stuff. And what's important to know about finding good resources is that you don't know what you don't know. So when it comes to the topics on the test, it's hard to understand what are the exact topics you need to know. So that's what a good resource can do for you. Uh, really identify that. And if it's a book, it'll be the table of contents. It'll tell you exactly what the topics are. If it's an online course, you can look at those lesson modules and really better understand what those topics are. Um, or like in the practice test, the scored report will break down those topics. But well, what you do want to do is, you know, have a resource that is from a reputable company that specializes in your test, the Kaplan Nursing Entrance Exam. So Smart Edition Academy is one of those companies. There are others, but I can definitely vouch for what we have is, uh, you know, really, really good material. And we work really hard to get the exact material that's on the test. So, you know, something like this, but you can use anything you want. You might already have stuff. Once you've assessed yourself on what your weaknesses are, now you have some good resources. The next thing you need to do is develop a good study plan and a good study schedule. Now we did a pretty deep dive into this in another video that is in the description below. And I really want you to check out that video because it's so worth your time to understand how to make a good study schedule because it's one, gonna help you retain all this information over the long run. And two, it's gonna make you study very effectively. So the time that you'll save by making a good study schedule you know without one you might say i have four hours to study and you're not studying effectively you could only actually get one hour of good study time in that four hours um, but by watching that video and really understanding how to put together a good study schedule you will save yourself so much time and you will be way more effective you won't have to study as much if you're studying effectively so check out that video 
And just make sure you're sticking to your study schedule. If you do that and you have the right resources and you know exactly what to study, you will be on track to crush this test. Now that'll bring us to the last point. You've done all these things, you know what your weaknesses are, you have great resources, you're sticking to the study schedule, you've been putting in the work. The last part of this is to go back and test yourself again. Go back and take another practice test. If you have Smart Edition Academy stuff, we have several practice tests. So you have more than enough than, uh, that you need to do this, but you should start to see your score improve. And you might even want to give yourself some goals on what kind of an increase in the score you want to see. So you have a baseline score from that first practice test you took. So you might want to say, I want to get a 5 or 10% increase and take that practice test again, you should start to see that increase. You're gonna feel better about yourself that everything that you're doing is worthwhile. And if your school has a certain requirement for the Kaplan exam that they require for their program, you're gonna to start to get an idea of, am I getting closer? Am I almost ready to take this test or not? Or do I need to put in more study time? And if I only have a week left, man, I really better get on it. Or actually I scored way better than their requirement. I could probably take it easy and just kind of rest for the next week or so. so so that's the last part of this. Now this video was meant to be kind of a, a quick hit on how to approach the test, how to get started. Uh, those other videos go much more in depth, uh, but we want to hear from you. Comment below. If there's something that's working for you that you want to share with others, please do that. And we hope you got a little bit of value out of this video. Uh, those other videos have links in the description, but we'll also post them here so you can check them out. And then other than that, we wish you guys luck on the test, uh, good luck studying, and we'll see you in the next video.